Hello again YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you another Visual Basic tutorial on how to make your own little custom form in case you don't want to use like Krypton Toolkit or Dev Components or something like that and you don't want your program to be the same old boring thing. You can make something like my program X Pro here. Now it's just I made this all by myself without like anything other than d the default controls. So what we're gonna do first is open up Photoshop. If you don't get it, I would recommend you get it somehow. Then start a new picture. Make it the width 300 and the height 25. What we're gonna be doing here is making the uh, top the form header right there then uh, gonna want to make a new layer by pressing that button make sure you're on that layer gonna go ahead and zoom in you can do it by pressing control plus zoom out with control minus okay now whatever color you want we're gonna go ahead and do a blue for this tutorial then uh, it's well control delete for your secondary color and alt delete for your form or first color to fill in the picture with that color and then we're going to uh, trim the edges how you hear all the zoom in more so you can really tell how many pixels it is it's two and then three like that on each side you can do it more I guess if you want but that's pretty much the default okay now we're gonna zoom back out now we're just going to make it look good go to blending options I'll right click then blending options well uh, I guess you could go to color overlay and get whatever color you want if you don't want to do it that way but then you're going to go to uh, the felon emboss and you can do this however you want I personally like it if you sort of raise the uh, size up and put the depth down a little bit then you're going to want to change these to sort of match your color more. Get like an aqua for the top color. Maybe bring it in a little more. And then just a dark blue. Okay, um, well, I'd say that's pretty good. Maybe drag this off a little bit. That too. I don't know, I think a good effect would be to, uh, let's duplicate the layer. Then compare it to smart object, rasterize the layer. And press Control T for transform. Let's zoom back in. Make this smaller. Um, all right, now let's trim these edges back up. It's just so it's not like overlapping the form or anything. And then right click and go to blending options you can also just double click then we're going to go to color relay put it on white and then go to blending options default and drag the opacity down so 
There's your finished header. Now go ahead and click save as. Form header. Oh, whoopsie. My bad. I accidentally saved it as PSD. Gonna go to PNG. Wait, I forgot something. Don't forget to uncheck the background so it's transparent like that. Make sure you have the other two in. Then save as PNG form header. Save. Alright, that's done. Now what you're going to want to do is make a background for your program. Well, I've already uh, got one made, so I'm just going to open that. And we'll edit the color. But you need to keep the top a little bit transparent there. Just this bottom. Go to uh, here. We'll just pick a color. Say you want like a lighter blue. Maybe that. Now just control alt and press transform and then you just move it down wait I did the wrong one alt or er, alt delete and then control T drag it down and that's all you need to do well you can add a design in there if you want. I'm not going to for the purpose of this video. Then we're just going to save as. PNG so you can have the transparent part at the top. Okay, now we're done with that. Now you need to open up your Visual Basic. I'll start a new form. You can do this to any form that's already like made or anything. You don't have to start something new. Custom form. Gotta wait a minute for it to make it. Okay, yeah, uh, there's no specific order you really need to do this in, but we'll start out with making the form sides all. Well, first we're going to make your form start position center screen. Change your form name to whatever. I'll just make a custom form for this video. Then you're going to want to make the form border size or style none. Now you have a borderless form. Then all we're going to do is change the back color. You're going to want to make it something that you don't use or some color that nothing else is because it'll mess your form up. Say like you have black text you don't want to make your or make it black. So, I honestly don't, or I'm not going to use anything maroon, so I'll make it maroon. Then we're going to go to transparency key, and then we're going to make that maroon. 
what that's going to do is it's going to make everything on the form that is maroon transparent so it'll get rid of this border or get rid of the form itself sort of make the, everything that's maroon transparent so we're going to have to be making our own form so we're going to go to the background image you don't have to go to local source you can go to project resource files so I just do this I think it's better then you're going to uh, get your form border or form background set that as the background you'll see that the top here is still maroon that'll just be transparent I guess I'll go ahead and debug to show you see the transparency gone now what that's for is so as you can see on my uh, program here how it has the rounded corners if you didn't do that it wouldn't have the rounded corners it would still just be square it'd have the form there because you can't see the form because the transparency key and the back color are the same it hides the form then we're going to want to make a panel go ahead and just keep the background color maroon then we're going to make the dock top then we're going to make the background uh, image the form header and uh, put it on stretch make this uh, 25 then we're going to need to make three more four or three more panels okay these are for the outside borders you don't have to do this but I think it look makes it look much better so you're going to want to change the back color so they're actually visible uh, we'll make it hot drag okay then we're going to make this one the bottom so dock bottom then you're going to want to make the size a lot smaller so we'll just make it three wait wrong one three so now it's just a small little border along the edge and do the same thing with these others just put them on the other sides make this one the left side three we'll go ahead and make this one three scoop back up dock right side okay now we'll debug it you guys uh, will see that it's wait a second hmm messed something up here oh yeah we need to make that transparent not maroon silly me okay maybe that wasn't it
Hmm. I'm going to pause it until I figure it out so the video is not so long. Alright guys, I've got that uh, figured out now. So, I, I don't know exactly what it was. I just went back into Photoshop. Made sure I uh, cleared out the edges of this layer, saved it again, reloaded it, seemed like that worked. And it did. But uh, now what we're going to do, so you can move your form around, going to click on it, and it'll bring you to the code. Then you're going to want to change, instead of click, you need to get one for mouse down and one for mouse move and you also need to make a or a uh, this dim new point as system drawing dot point dim x comma y as integer and then on the panel mouse down x equals control dot mouse position dot x minus me dot location dot x y equals control dot mouse position dot y minus me dot location dot y then on the panel one move f e dot button equals windows dot forms dot mouse button dot left then new point equals control dot mouse position and then new point dot x minus equals uh, X in parentheses, or not parentheses, but I uh, can't think of the name of them right now. But you guys, you know, you point dot y minus equals y me dot location equals new point. That's gonna do. It's gonna enable you or the form to move around and click on that one, move it around, so forth. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need a button to close it obviously so just make a new button text as X this isn't what you have to do but it's just what I do now I usually or I just make them uh, 32 by 20 drag, them, drag it up to that form Drag it over to the side. Uh, I think it's best if you add a tool tip to your form. Oh, wait. Oopsie, that's tool strip. Tool tip. Then just click on your button again. Go down to tool tip and then close now double click that button you dot close now let's just copy this button paste drag it over now with the button size this small normally I would put a uh, underscore but it won't show up on the button because of its size so two dashes and the norm or default font it won't be it won't show them up as being individual slashes maybe three yeah three still good too maybe it does show them as individuals on three let's go back to two no they're still individual but oh well now tool tip minimize you don't want a uh, well I don't usually like having maximize buttons so now we're going to me dot window or window state equals 
you don't have to type it all out. You can just type minimize and it'll pull up for Windows State dot minimize. And then that's all you got to do. That's done. You can, if you want your icon up there, let's get a picture box. Make the background transparent. Make these or this location size eighteen by eighteen. Great thing is with a picture box it doesn't have to be an icon. You can use any old picture. Little you can stretch it down to the size. We'll just um, use the troll face. That ought to be good. And you need to go to size mode, stretch image. Then you're going to want to put this up here. Now you've got yourself a little troll face up there. It's a good label. So you can have your form text. Custom form. Well, if you want to, you can, instead of changing it, since we've already made the form itself, custom form, I'll show you, you can just, on the form load, label one dot text equals me dot text. That'll change it to whatever you have the form text as. Drag that over. Now let's run this. And now you've got your own little custom form. The little troll face. Close, minimize, minimize it, close, it's done, there you go, hope this uh, helped you guys, so you notice it does have rounded corners, so here I'll uh, show you just to prove it to you if you don't have the transparency key set to what the background color is. No rounded corners. Remember the transparency key is the key. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe to me if you'd like to see more of these videos from me. And please thumbs up because it sort of motivates me to make more of these videos for you guys so yeah thumbs up this video subscribe leave a comment if you want if you have any questions feel free to ask or message me or something 